Did you know that an average man produces about 1,500 sperm per second? That's more than the number of episodes in your favorite Netflix series. It's a surprising fact, isn't it? That's the fascinating world of sperm for you. So why are we talking about this? Well, because sperm count matters more than you might think. It's not just about the ability to conceive a child, but it's also a measure of a man's overall health. Yes, those little swimmers are a pretty big deal. Now, let's put things into perspective. Imagine if each sperm was an episode of a TV series. The average man would be producing an entire season every second. That's faster than you can binge watch your favorite show. This might sound like a lot, but in the grand scheme of things, it's just a drop in the ocean. Now that you're amazed, let's dive deeper into the fascinating world of sperm count. So, you might be wondering with all these sperm swimming around, what's considered normal? Well, let's dive right in. When we talk about a normal sperm count, we're referring to the number of little swimmers a man has per milliliter of semen. Now, the World Health Organization, or WHO, defines normal as anything above 15 million sperm per milliliter. Yes, you heard that right, 15 million. Now that's a lot of potential baby makers. Let's put this into perspective. Think of each sperm as a citizen of a bustling city. If your sperm count is on the low end of normal, it's like you've got a city the size of Amsterdam in there. But if you're at the high end, with 200 million sperm per milliliter, you're looking at a population equivalent to the entire country of Brazil. But remember, it's not just about quantity. Quality matters too. You want your sperm to be the Olympic athletes of the cellular world. Strong, healthy, and with a good sense of direction. Because after all, they've got quite the journey ahead of them. Now you might be thinking, but what if my spermtropolis is more of a sperm town? Well, don't panic just yet. A lower sperm count doesn't necessarily mean you're out of the baby-making game. It might just mean your little guys need to work a bit harder. But hey, everyone loves an underdog story, right? Now, keep in mind these numbers are just averages. Everyone is different, and what's normal can vary widely from person to person. If you're concerned about your sperm count, it's always a good idea to speak with a healthcare provider. So the next time someone asks you about the population of your spermtropolis, you know what to say. But what if your spermtropolis is more of a sperm town? Fear not, there are natural ways to boost your citizens. Imagine your body as a bustling city, and sperm as its industrious residents. Sometimes the population may dwindle, but there are ways to revitalize it. Let's delve into it, shall we? First off, maintaining a healthy weight is pivotal. Just like a city with clean air and green parks, a body in good shape provides an ideal environment for your sperm to thrive. Regular exercise not only helps to keep weight in check, but also boosts testosterone levels, acting like a natural population booster. Next, let's talk about sleep. Picture this, your city's power grid is down and everything is in chaos. That's what happens when you're sleep deprived. Your body needs rest to function properly, and yes, that includes sperm production. So make sure you're getting enough shut-eye. Now onto the topic of bad habits. Think of smoking and excessive alcohol as natural disasters. They're the hurricanes and earthquakes that devastate your city's population. Cutting down on these habits can significantly improve your sperm count. Just as a city needs a well-rounded economy, your body needs a balanced diet. Foods rich in antioxidants like fruits and vegetables can protect your sperm from cellular damage. Foods high in zinc and folate, like beans and leafy greens, are also beneficial. Stress can act like a supervillain terrorizing your city. It can wreak havoc on your body and sperm count. So, finding ways to manage stress, like meditation or yoga, can really help to keep your sperm population healthy and growing. Lastly, staying hydrated is crucial. Consider water as the life-giving river that runs through your city. It aids in the production of bodily fluids, including sperm. So, there you have it. You're on your way to turning your sperm town into a sperm metropolis. Remember, every city takes time to grow, so be patient with yourself. And just like any thriving city, a healthy sperm count requires consistent care and attention. So, start incorporating these lifestyle changes today for a healthier, happier sperm metropolis tomorrow. Now let's talk about the fuel for your sperm metropolis, food. You know what they say, you are what you eat. And in this case, your sperm are what you eat too. So, let's dive into the gourmet kitchen of sperm cuisine and see what's cooking. First on the menu, we have oysters. These slippery little guys are packed with zinc, a mineral that's essential for sperm production. 
think of it as the secret ingredient that gives your swimmers that extra oomph to cross the finish line. Next up, we have dark chocolate. Yes, you heard it right. This sweet treat is not only good for your taste buds, but it's also a great source of the amino acid L-arginine, which can increase the volume of your, well, baby batter. So, go ahead, indulge in that extra piece of chocolate guilt-free, knowing you're doing it for a good cause. Now let's move on to the greens. Spinach, broccoli, and other leafy greens are loaded with folic acid, which can boost the health and quantity of your sperm. So next time you're at the grocery store, be sure to grab a bunch of these superhero veggies. Garlic is another potent food item. It contains allicin, which not only improves blood flow to your nether regions, but also protects the sperm from damage. It's like a medieval knight safeguarding your precious little warriors. And last but not least, we have eggs. These breakfast staples are packed with vitamin E and protein, both of which are essential for healthy sperm. Consider them the extra special food your sperm needs to thrive. So there you have it, folks. The five-star menu for boosting your sperm count. But remember, while these foods can help, it's still important to maintain a balanced diet and a healthy lifestyle for optimal results. And now, it's time to hit the kitchen and whip up a delicious sperm-friendly feast. Bon appetit, my little swimmers. So, there you have it, folks. A crash course on sperm count and how to boost it naturally. We dove into the surprising world of sperm, unraveling the mystery of what constitutes a normal sperm count. We even journeyed through the natural ways to increase it, and trust me, it was a wild ride. The broccoli and the garlic had quite the showdown, didn't they? Remember, it's not just about the numbers, but the quality too. So keep those swimmers fighting fit with a healthy lifestyle, balanced diet, and a generous helping of those sperm-friendly foods we've discussed. And let's not forget our heroes of the day, bananas, spinach, and walnuts, standing tall and proud in their mission to fortify your sperm tropolis. It's like a superhero story, but with food. Before you go, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Your sperm tropolis will thank you.